In this lecture, we're going to look at setting and locking the screen orientation on a device with Ionic. So let's start off by installing the Cordova plugin named Cordova Plugin Screen Orientation. If you are asked to install the CLI plugin for Cordova, hit yes and continue with the installation. After that, we can install the Ionic Native plugin by saying npm install at Ionic Native slash screen orientation. This plugin is supported on Android, Blackberry 10, iOS and Windows. We can then open this up inside of our code editor. We can start off by importing screen orientation from Ionic Native slash screen orientation inside of our root app module. We can then add this to the list of providers. Inside of our component, I'm going to do the same. And inject this inside of our constructor as screen orientation. I'm going to make a few functions. The first will be get current screen orientation. And that one is as simple as logging out this dot screen orientation dot type. So this contains the current screen orientation, such as landscape. Next, I'll make a function named unlock screen orientation and lock screen orientation. As you may imagine, these allow us to simply lock the orientation with this dot screen orientation dot lock. And inside of here, we can pass in using this dot screen orientation dot orientations a particular orientation to lock the application at. So if we lock the orientation in landscape mode, then the app would be stuck to that and the user wouldn't be able to navigate away from being landscape. As this returns a promise, I'm going to make this async and I will put this inside of a try catch. If there are any errors, we will simply log out an error to the console, but if not, we will lock the orientation. Now let's take a look at unlocking the orientation. So we can say this dot screen orientation dot unlock. And that simply unlocks and allows all orientations. Next, we have the option to observe the screen orientation. And that can be done with this dot screen orientation dot on change. And as you can see, this returns an observable that fires each time the orientation changes. So here we can simply log out the application orientation has changed. Do be aware that you will have to unsubscribe from your observable if you're using this inside your application and you've finished watching the screen orientation. I'm now going to head over to home.html and I'm going to change the title and navbar color. And I'm going to add a few buttons. I'll add ion button, clear, block, and in this occasion, I will say the click event is equal to get current screen orientation. So that when the user clicks this button, we should have the current screen orientation logged out to the console. Let's make another button. And that one will be the lock screen orientation. That will stop the user from using any other orientation other than landscape. We'll make another button. This time it will be unlock screen orientation. 
And finally, we'll have a final button. And that one will be called Observe Screen Orientation. Each time the orientation changes, we will of course get a log out to the console with that observable. With that observable, we will of course get a log to the console every time that the screen orientation changes. So with all that in mind, let's run this on the device. I'm going to add dash L in case we need to change anything. That of course starts a live reload server and we're doing it by saying Ionic Cordova run Android dash L. So let's start by getting the current orientation. I'm going to hit the get orientation button and you can see that we are currently on portrait primary. If I instead go to landscape and I click get orientation, we're now in landscape primary. If I click lock orientation and I have moved my phone away from landscape, it's now in the portrait position and I can't get it to unlock. But if I click unlock, you'll see that we've now gone to a portrait. And if I click get orientation, we're back to portrait. And finally, if I set off our observable and click observe orientation, and now I switch, we get the application orientation has changed like so. And each time, if I wanted to, I could click get orientation and that would change appropriately. We could even head over to our observable here and we could instead say that the application orientation has changed to, and then we can pass in this dot screen orientation dot type. And if we observe the orientation one last time, you can see that it's changed to landscape primary and port rate. If we change it the other way, you can see that it goes to landscape secondary and so on. So that's how we use the screen orientation plugin inside of our Ionic applications.